Hello viewers, it's Lewis Hamilton here. Yes, that's right, the winner of the British Grand Prix. So the hookster has been banging on all year about how washed up I am, but has he even won a race lately in this stupid all seasons rubbish? So I am a real seven times world champion, not this stupid playing video games nonsense. Anyway, welcome to F123, where once again, the hookster will be starting at the back of the grid in a rubbish car, but can he come out on top? So viewers, if we put the hookster in a real F1 car, where do you think he would end up? Well. One thing for sure is we would have to scrub the seat afterwards because he is bound to shit himself. Anyway, I am off now to see if I can win any more real races while the hookster plays with his teddy bear. He's so pathetic. Pathetic? The hookster? No, Lewis, no! Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to All Seasons on F123. Yes, it's time for Monaco. Oh God. Anyway, more practice has been completed and we got some more developments to the gearbox, to the weight reduction and to the gearbox once again. Oh God. So here we are at the Jewel of the Crown and we're in a potato, yes an absolute potato which has had no developments put on the car so where are we going to finish after our first qualified run and it's going to be at the moment in 6th uh, place, only 2.3 seconds behind the leaders, oh, as we accelerate forward now, it's a little bit qualified you can see 7 minutes left and we're, yeah we're, uh, Oh, oh, I sounded like Joe Biden for a moment then. Yes, we're in last place, everyone. But I cross the line now. And are we going to get proof? Yes, we have. We're now 19th place. We're ahead of Charlie Boy Leclerc. I can't believe it. As we accelerate forward now. Just 30 seconds left to qualify. We're going to cross the line. Yes, we've done it. 18th position at Monaco. I can't believe it. We unfortunately didn't get to... Uh, uh, managed to get past our own teammate, but yeah, so that's it. Qualified is like, oh god, no, we dropped down to last place again. We're behind Logan's privates. No, no, damn you, Lewis. Damn you, he's put a curse on us. He's put a curse on us. It's last place at Monaco. So, look, look, uh, no, Lewis, Lewis, Lewis got Paul. Look, no, no, you bugger, you absolute bugger. A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That's how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but we still race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean. There is no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco then is not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Sainz, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Ocon, Bottas, Stroll, Magnussen, Leclerc, Albon, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Sargent, and Hollywood. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. 
Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Hollywood. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Please be careful, Inter Sandoval. Shut up! It's time now for the five lights to go out on the all season. Scooby and Bose go, go, go. And it's away we go from last. But already we get past Logan's Privates as we're about to go into Sandoval. We've got our own teammate, Yugi Sloder. We sneak down inside. What about Holkenberg? Yes, it's another audacious dive by the Oxford up into 13th position. Wowzers be trousers. This from the guy that never gives up and never surrenders. But don't you know? Don't you know? So, yes, oh, we got a little bit of pressure though for a car to the right outside. It's a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. It's Charles Leclerc. I don't know what he's doing right down here on the grid, but he gets past us. But we're going to throw it down the inside as we go into the casino here. Oh, my goodness. More contact. More contact. We've got cars ahead. We've got Bottas slowing down. Ocon slowing down. And he gets past us. No, we got flags waving as well. But yes, Charles Leclerc gets past. We dropped out of 14 places we now go through into the tunnel for the first time in our beautiful potato car yes the Alpha Tori, which has had no developments on it and we are really now starting to suffer but hopefully it won't be too long before we get to change cars as you can see we are still chasing Charles Leclerc the little bit of uh, audacious corner cut in there from the hookster but we continue on and look at the beautiful scene there from all the yachts in the harbour with all the supermodels in their bikinis oh god those bikinis <laughs> oh, those but anyway back to complete lap one yes lap one fastest lap goes to George of the Russell George of the Russell and we're still holding the 14th place still chasing Charles Leclerc he's on the soft tyres that's pretty much why he beat us as we accelerate forward now to lap 2 yes lap 2 just about to start lap 3 or a little bit of crossing up there from the hookster but still holding the 14th place we've got Lance Stroll now behind us and of course the Aston Martin the DRS has now been enabled and we're still chasing Charles Leclerc but he's one and a half seconds already up the road from us as we accelerate forward now to lap five no change in the positions as you can see still 14th for us Charles Leclerc is ahead he's now eight seconds ahead of us and Stroll is just shy of about half a second behind us still chasing us to try and get past as we accelerate forward now to lap seven going through the tunnel no change but you can see the gorgeous tunnel now underneath the floodlights and then it goes super bright super bright and you can't see where you're going as you exit from the tunnel and a beautiful shot there from our front wing camera yes there you go then still 14th position for us now 10 seconds behind Leclerc and just ahead of Stroll we accelerate for now still on lap 11 you can see we are still still holding on now to this 14th position a little bit of crossing up there from the Uxter, and that gives the opportunity to Stroll to try and get past. Oh, it's contact. It's contact between us and Lancey Boy Stroll. The flags have come out. We've managed to hold on to it, though. Wow, that was very, very close. And Stroll goes into the pits. So I don't know whether he got some wing damage there, but he comes into the pits. We so wait for that lap 15. Yes, lap 15. It's time for us now to make our pit stop at Monaco. Yes. Wowzers. So in we come now. We've got our Williams right up our Jack Jones. But let's see if the lads can do a nice fast pit stop we get in all oh, perfect there for the hookster changing on and we're going on now to the we've gone for the alternative strategy we're now going on to the soft tire for the rest of our stint now usually this strategy doesn't work but at monaco we just didn't care basically because we knew we weren't going to really get up into the points or get anywhere so we just thought now we'll just go for it so we rejoin now i think oh williams gets past the turns we climbed up the hill this is very very close between us and alexander albon but we do manage to hold on and we're in eight we're in eight we're in 18th place as we rejoin the fields. We accelerate for a lap 18. As you can see, we're still in 18th place, but cut. Has any cars coming to the pits yet? A bit. Oh my goodness, what on earth has happened? We've lost a huge amount of positions there. We're in, we're in 18th place. I, I, I can't understand what's going on. Yuki Snow just 14 seconds ahead of us. On lap night, as we accelerate forward now to lap 19. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Yes, it's time for the boo fags. The boo fags have come out. Yes, we've got to concede our position. Oh my goodness, who is the car? Oh no, that's not Lewis Hamilton, is it? That's not Lewis Hamilton. It can't be. No, no, Lewis, you bugger. Anyway, we're going to let him pass. Is that. No, it was George of the Russell. That's okay. George of the Russell. Fantastic. As we accelerate forward as lap 21. Still in 18th place. Oh my goodness. What has gone wrong in this Grand Prix? We've now got Logan's Privates right behind us, but Yuki Tanoza is now 23. 23 seconds ahead of us what what the what what we're in 14th place weren't we how did we lose that many positions like 
Oh god, I hate this track. Anyway, as we accelerate forward now to lap 26, George of the Russell has won the race. It's the end of the Torture Grand Prix at Monaco, yes. I just can never understand how I managed to lose so many positions and places at this track. It's just unbelievable. We're going to be beaten by our own teammate, Yuki Sonoda, by 49 seconds. For... 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 Oh, I need to lie down now. I need to lie down. Anyway, we're coming around the final turn now to complete our Grand Prix of Torture at Monaco. And we're going to finish in 18th position. Fan... Fantastic, yes. Well done, Hookster. What a performance. What a performance, yes. Wow, this is really going to pull the viewers in, this is, isn't it? Yes, wowzers, yes. Uh, you'll soon be up there with subscribers and say, Oh, no, Lewis Hamilton gets driver of the day. I can't. Oh, he's cursed us. He's cursed us, everyone. And there, once again, is the beautiful Monaco. Look at all those buildings and those yachts and all those babes in there. Anyway, let's get off that subject now and let's look at the Mercedes mechanics congratulating themselves for their driver, George of the Russell, who has won at Monaco. Yes, won at Monaco. Fantastic. Well done, George. And he crowd surfs into his crowd of mechanics. Oh, look, there's some ladies there as well. Some lady mechanics. What's a lady mechanic doing outside of the kitchen? That's what I want to know. What's a lady mechanic doing outside of the kitchen? Why isn't she making me a bacon sandwich? And there he is. There's George of the Russell. George of the Russell. Onto the podium now. There he is. There's the trophy for George. Well done, George. Well done indeed. And he says, yes, lads. Look, I've bloody well done it. And he has done it. He has done it. He has done us all proud. Well done, George of the Russell. There it goes. Champagne over everyone. Da -da 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 Fantastic. So George won the race and got the fastest lap as well. Lulu finished in second place and we finished in 18th. Yes, one minute and ten behind our own teammate. Well, no, one minute and ten behind the whole race. I, I don't know. In the standings now, you can see Max Verstappen has the lead with 165 points. George Russell is second with 105. And we're in 14th place with those two lovely, gorgeous world championship points. Two, we've got two. Anyway, let's move on to the next Grand Prix and forget about that nightmare. Yes, it's time for the Spanish Grand Prix. Yes, the home of Carmen Jorda. Yes, and did we win the football? I'm not quite sure because I've recorded this on a Friday. Anyway, let's have a look now. We're just finishing up on the supercar. Supercar. And we've got gold in our Aston Martin Vantage F1 edition. Oh, my goodness. So, prices have been completed. More lovely resource points. Look at that. 660 for Dukes today. He's really been putting the work in. 17,379 points, which we're not going to spend. And then we're going to leave the team and see if they spend all those points and end up being the fastest car. In, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. But it's a good experiment to try. So the rain in Spain falls mainly on Dave's big bald head and unfortunately this is a circuit which requires a lot of speed and we haven't got any speed in our potato car. No, no speed at all. So I don't predict that we're going to do very well in this round either. Anyway, let's have a look and see what happens as we cross the line. And it's going to be fifth at the moment. Wow, just shy of a second. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised as we accelerate forward now to uh, just 49 seconds left because unfortunately the second one we didn't improve. We haven't improved on this and we're 15th place at the moment. And we cross the line. It's 11th. It's 11th position. I can't believe it. Wowzers, me trousers. We've just 36 seconds left to accelerate forward. Now. Well, we dropped out of 14th place. We haven't improved. But I'll tell you what, 14th place, I will take that if that's what it ends up to be. Let's have a look and see if it is. And it is 14th position at Spain. Wowzers. Where did we get that kind of performance from in our little potato car? So Charlie Boyle Clerk got pole. Max Verstappen got second. Lulu in third. Carlos Sainz in fourth. We ended up in 14th position. Wowzers, and our teammate only got 18th. What a loser. Okay, then, let's do this. 
Max Verstappen's first win for Red Bull on debut here. One of the great dramatic days in Formula One after the clash on the first lap of Hamilton and Rosberg. The entire crowd at Turn 7 on their feet, cheering. An extraordinary race. It's always a treat to come back here for the Spanish Grand Prix. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the long run down into Turn 1. This is a 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging here, to put it mildly. There are 16 corners, but there's still a lot of drama and excitement to be found out there on track. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Sainz, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Perez, Magnussen, Stroll, Hollywood, Ocon, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Sargent, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pinker. Let's talk about Hollywood. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons. Clear mode and we say go, go, go. And it's a uh, where we go. Great start after life. Looks there. You can see we've already got past Lance Stroll. As you can see, we've got Megason ahead of us in the house. And we have to go to the grass, try and get past him. We haven't got that. We've got a new Joe. Oh my goodness, that was very hairy, scary stuff as we're now going to go into the first turn. Are we going to go on Grand New Joe? Yes, we do. And on the McLaren as well. I think that's Oscar's pastry. Yes, we have cooked Oscar's pastry, but we're free wide. We're free wide, making a little bit of contact there. We've managed to hold it. Ah, 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 we're in the points. We're in the points, everyone. I can't believe it. It's 10th place at the moment, but Oscar's pastry is desperately trying to get past us. We've got Checo Perez ahead in ninth position. Fernando Alonso is just ahead of him. We're in 10th position, and we've got pastry behind us, still fighting like crazy. He's got Lance Stroll directly behind him. Wow, that was exciting stuff in the first lap of this Grand Prix. Of course, don't forget, 23 laps of the Grand Prix now because it's a 35% extended race. Yes. Oh, my God. Now, are we going to stay in the points or are we going to lose it? Because we seem to lose it in the pit stop cycle. But anyway, we continue on. Almost the end of the first lap at Spain. The rain in Spain is not falling at the moment. In fact, it's gorgeous sunshine, as you can see. It's a perfect day for motor racing. A perfect day. Oh, there's a few clouds, though, just off to the left-hand side, you can see there. But mostly, it's very, very sunny indeed. We're about to complete lap one of this Grand Prix in Spain. And we're still holding on to 10th place. A World Championship point is on offer here, lads. A World Championship point as Maxi Boy Verstappen puts in the fastest lap. And we're about to start lap two of this Grand Prix. Still in 10th place. And we've still got Oscar's pace. you trying to get past us, but no DOS, of course, at the moment. So he's just going to have to hold stations. We accelerate for lap two. Just about to start lap three. Still in 10th position, everyone. Yes, DRS has now been enabled, though, so that's going to give the opportunity for Oscar's Patriot to try and get past. Brand new Joe just pull up to 12th position just behind Pastry, and Fernando Alonso is now the car ahead of us. Fernando Alonso as we accelerate forward out to lap six, and we're getting passed by Piastri. I don't believe it. Oscar's Pastry's got past us under the DRS. We're going to do all day just down the inside of Oscar, and yes. Oh, that was hairy, scary stuff. Oh, we got another car to the right hand side. It's Grand New Joe, and he's got past us. I can't believe it. Grand New Joe has sneaked past us in that Alfa Romeo, and we've lost the position. We're now outside the World Championship points. Are we going to do a dive on, on Joe? No, we didn't do a dive on Joe. I can't believe it, but no. And so we have lost out on our World Championship points. Bugger, bugger, bugger. So, 11th for us. Grand New Joe in 10th place as we accelerate for another lap 7. And we're still getting some pressure from behind from Oscar's pastry. He's still going for a move down the inside of us, and he gets past also. Oh my goodness, so we're going to show him the dummy and sneak down the inside. We tried to, but he blocks us off. No, wowzers. So we've now lost another place, and we've lost another place now, because Magnus is going past us. What is going on? We're just showing that we've got absolutely no performance. Unfortunately, in this car, we've lost another place. We're down to 13th place now as Magnus and the Husk goes past us. We just haven't got... Oh, we sneaked down the inside of Magnus and oh, and get the place back. Yes, wowzers. That was pretty hairy stuff as we accelerate for another lap 10. So it's time for us to make our pit stop from 13th place. 
We're going to fall down the pecking order, and I think we're not going to recover from this either. Let's have a look and see what happens. We've got a Alfa Romeo right up the Jackie Jones as we now come in for our pit stop. Yes, here we go. Nice fast stop, please, lads. Come on. Yes, change it on to the... We've gone for the normal strategy now. Yes, change on to the harder tyre for this stint. Out we go, and we have got out in front of Bottas, who came in at the same time as us, which is good news. We actually return now to a clear track. A clear track, yes. So where are we in the positional stakes? We are in... We're in... 19th place at the moment lads yes hopefully though lots more cars got to come as we accelerate for the lap 11 and yes more cars have now come into the pits i think just look at the mini map i can see three cars have come in now so this includes our own teammate yuki Sonoda is in albon's in and so is i think magnuson but anyway we got past we have the 16th position now yes 16th place but i'm i'm pretty sure we've still lost three positions in that pit stop cycle i can't believe it but yes as we accelerate for the lap 12 no, we're okay because we're now going past the pits and more cars are coming in. In fact, just look at the minimap again. It looks like four cars are in. So we've got past them. We're up to 12th. 12th position now. Well, we've actually gained a position because we were 13th when we came in for our pit stop. I can't believe it, but it's true. As we accelerate for that lap 14, we've got some flags going on. Some greens going on. And we're yell, oh, Oscar's pastry is out of the session. Yes. Oh, McLaren are out, and that means we're going to gain one place. So we're in 11th now. Oh, look, I can smell that World Championship point, and it smells delicious like fresh strawberries on a summer's day. But unfortunately, we've got to get past Grand New Joe at the moment. We sell it from a lap 18, and he's six seconds up the road from us. So unless another car drops out, I don't think we're going to be on for that World Championship point. As you can see on the mini map, we've got a truly train of cars behind us as well desperately vying to try and get past us we accelerate for that lap 23 that's the end and look at this maxi boy has won the race we're still in level we've got Lance Stroll making our last ditch attempt to try and get past us but we're going to be able to be okay for the inside line on Lance Stroll so we're going to hold on to 11th place ah oh, always the bridesmaid but never the bride yes just just outside the world championship points so close lads so close indeed but anyway we come round the final corner at the gorgeous spanish circuit Lance strolls trying to move on the inside in the last corner though but we managed to hold on to it and we're going to cross the line in 11th place and that's the end of the race. oh my goodness Bye, our potato is still holding her own though she really is holding her own because 11th place in a car that's got no developments on it as Sergio Perez gets driving today. No developments on this car whatsoever. I think she's doing bloody well. Anyway, there are the team. Oh, look, ladies cuddling. Oh, ladies cuddling. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Yes. And twice on Sundays. Max Verstappen has won the race, everyone. In the Red Bull. It's time for the crowd surf. Yes. Get in there, Maxi. Get in there. Yes. Great to see. Great to see. Are we going to get the shake of the wrist for Maxi Boy? Oh, yes, we do. There it is. It's in the contract. And he says, I've bloody well done it now. Shut up, Hookster. Onto the podium he goes. Yes, well done. Well, now I really do sound like Joe Biden. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the president of Ukraine. Anyway, let's have a look at the champagne going over everyone. Let's go to a replay and see our only car that didn't finish the race. It was Oscar's pastry in the McLaren. Now what happened? Did he have an engine failure or did he just pull off? All looks good at the moment. All looks good. Oh, and there it goes. The engine has hand grenaded itself and said, nope. I'm done. I'm not doing any more of this Grand Prix. And Piastri is sort of part of the sort of funny position. Come on, Piastri. Oh, God, he's jumped over the... Co Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, he done it. He done it. Well done, Piastri. Well done indeed. Great to see. So after that round, Maxi Boy won the race and got the fastest lap. We ended up in 11th place. Look, just outside those World Championship points. Let's go to the standings now and see where we are. Maxi Boy still in the lead with 191 points. Joel's now in second with 120. And we've still just got those two World Championship points, of course. And we're eighth in the Constructors right now. So there you go, everyone. Another episode of the All Seasons has been completed. Thanks so much for joining me. You have been awesome, as always. And yes, of course, there will, of course, be more later.